When it comes to dumb reality shows from the mid-2000s, I don't think there's any one show quite as iconic as Pimp My Ride. Not only was this a time capsule for MTV in this era, it also reminds us just how bananas everything was. This is Aunt Wilmina. This is this is my aunt that the car belonged to when she... Oh, come on now! <laughs> now, this isn't the first time we've talked about Pimp My Ride on the channel. We actually did earlier this year, along with CMT's semi-truck ripoff, Trick My Truck. Matt, there's a ton more back here to see. Yeah! But it's been a while, and this is one of my favorite shows to rip on, mainly because it's a gold mine. Now, for the six of you that don't know what this show's about, it's quite simple. People whose cars were in desperate need of repairs, cosmetic or mechanical, submitted them in the hopes that MTV and Rapper Exhibit would choose them and pimp their ride. When I mean MTV and Exhibit, I mean West Coast Customs, the garage that does all of the work. Like, all of it. When hosting the show, Exhibit takes a very hands-off approach. Unless, of course, the car's owner is an attractive woman. Thank you. But only that. If you are a 19-year-old guy, then keep your distance. Thank you so much, there it is. No, <laughs> Now, if you guys remember me saying this, people whose cars were in desperate need of repairs, cosmetic or mechanical, that's good, because it was only a handful of seconds ago. But I want to circle back to that because I feel like I stretched the truth a little bit. They do not work on these cars mechanically. They don't fix any mechanical issues with the vehicle. What's up? My name is Kerry. I'm 19 years old, and this is my 89 Ford Escort. My car is like Frankenstein. It's, it's two cars welded together in one. I don't know how things fit and how things work, but it's pretty dangerous. If this wasn't just the first season and so early into the show's run, I would say that this car was designed and built to be on Pimp My Ride. I just don't know how when working on a car, you come to the conclusion, let's put two cars together. That's, that's gotta be the only way we can fix this. I don't even know what this stuff is. I think I ran over it or something. That is the upside down. There is some of the upside down on your car, leaking its way into our reality via your Ford Escort. Yeah, I pretty much put my life on hold, uh, you know, because I'm babysitting a lot. Carrie's been the man of the family for quite a few years. He's been there for me and the family, helping out all he could. I don't know what I would have did without him. Oftentimes on shows like this, the contestants will give us a little bit of their backstory. Usually it's pretty heartwarming and it's meant to tug at your heartstrings and ultimately make it seem like this is a good thing that they're on this show and they're winning this or that. But goddammit, it makes me feel even worse on this show because I know that whatever's gonna happen to their car is not going to make their life any easier. But then when I look at his... God, I don't want to call it a car. When I look at this thing, all I can think of is you can really only go up from here. I think people probably view us uh, probably differently because of my car. You know, but whatever gets us from point A to point B, I'm not really concerned about what they really think, so. I feel like people look at me differently when they see me driving this car. It's usually some kind of look of, well, genuine shock, a concern, fear for their uh, safety and well-being. They often merge into a different lane. Please, MTV, pimp my ride. Or flatten it to a fucking cube. Either one will be better. I am once again begging, if you or anyone you know knows anyone that can find raw footage of them filming this transition, any of the transitions, without the editing, I want long takes of Exhibit walking up and down a street, crossing to both sides, just looking like a fool. Alright, Carrie's Ford Escort is the biggest bucket that I've seen yet. Homeboy needs a lot of help, and that's why I come in. He needs help, and that's where I come in drive it to the people that will help them. This is the first time I've seen roof tar to hold on a windshield. Here's this one here. Then we have another well here. There's more. There's another well here, and there's another one here. My man needs a lot of help. I'm about to go hook him up. Let's go. I always think about how fucking funny it would be if they were at the wrong house and Exhibit was just talking heaps of shit about some random guy's car as he's coming out to go to work. God, yeah, this thing is, this is a piece of shit. This, years of neglect, you can tell they, <laughs> they haven't given a shit about this thing in a long time. I'd, I'd be embarrassed to drive this. I'm trying my fucking best, man. I just want to go to work. So we finally get to knock on the door and meet the owner of the car, Carrie, who, uh, well, uh, his reaction was modest. Yo, Carrie, holy <laughs> dude, exhibit! <laughs> oh my God, dude! 
Dude, yes! Honestly, he has the same reaction that I do when I open my door to find a meal box from the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. That's right, guys. HelloFresh is once again supporting the channel and providing delicious and easy to make meals to you guys. If you guys don't know by now, HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit service, delivering tasty seasonal recipes with fresh pre-measured ingredients right to your door. While the quality and recipes themselves are great, my favorite thing, of course, is the convenience. Because while I love cooking from scratch, the thing I hate the most is the preparation of the ingredients and often wasting some of those ingredients that you don't end up using. HelloFresh is perfect for those nights where you just don't have that much energy or time, but you still want to cook something healthy and delicious. Especially as we get into the hectic fall season with all of the running around and whatnot. HelloFresh makes those hectic weeknights that much easier with their foolproof step-by-step -step recipes. And even if you're on a specific diet or meal plan, HelloFresh offers plenty of customization with veggie, pescatarian, fit and wholesome meals, and more. One little thing that I don't see a lot of people talk about that I really enjoyed from HelloFresh was just picking up small details or techniques from recipes that you end up using elsewhere. That's also why I often recommend this to people who are just getting started in cooking as well. Now it's one thing to be all that, but to also be a bag of potato chips is another thing. That sounded better when I wrote it. But while HelloFresh offers all of those benefits, it also ensures you're eating more sustainably because they're the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all of their packaging is recyclable. How's that for thinking outside the box? See, that made much more sense than the other thing I said. So if you want to try out HelloFresh for yourself, use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGCHRISOCT65 for 65% off, plus free shipping on your first box. And once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. 65%, that's... Gotta be more than half. Thank you once again to HelloFresh for sponsoring, and now back to Pimp My Ride. <laughs> exhibit! What's up, man? Dude, you look like <laughs> Exhibit! <laughs> I get that all the time. God! He's either genuinely this jazzed about getting his two-car situation fixed, which I can see, or it's one of those situations where they weren't jazzed enough, and they had to pull him aside and say, listen here, you little shit. Act Like Exhibit is saving your fucking life, which, if we're being honest, we kind of are looking at this thing. Hey, who has the baby? Where's the baby? That's for Jessica. She's my sister. She's only five, so, so you know, she gotta be safe and stuff. Okay. Holy shit, it wasn't until seeing the car seat in the back that I realized he is driving around a child. That child is sitting in the other car. I was wondering if this car has two separate VIN numbers, but then I realized, I don't think the DMV knows this exists. It, there's no way it does. All right, man. I'm gonna take this car. Next time you see it, you ain't gonna recognize it. You won't believe your eyes, man. Trust me. Thank All right? you so much. There it is. Look, no, no, no. Yeah, we can definitely see that different type of energy with Exhibit and a young guy versus a pretty girl. A lot less sexual innuendos when he's working with fucking Carrie. <laughs> Yeah. What kind of car is this, man? Yeah, man, actually, It looks man. like two different ones. It is. Damn, that looks like two cars. Because it is two cars. No shit, it's two cars. Did you not even read the fucking email? I don't even know how it's held together. And why it's still together. Maybe the carpet's holding it. Oh, <laughs> man. I don't think this is gonna happen, man. It's a matter of time. I'm surprised you made it here. What? What you think? We, we need to get it inside and re like really look at it. So what do we do? This, this car definitely isn't safe enough to be on the road. I don't know what we can do with it, man. It's just so, we don't want to put something on the road that's so unsafe though either, you know? And on this episode, for the first time in Pit My Ride history, which isn't saying much, it's the first season, they decide to just get rid of the fucking car and get a new one. I think I got an idea, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me make a phone call real quick and see what's happening. I need to come get it today. Yeah, today. Arigato. Ah, uh, yeah. All right, dog. And when I first heard this, I thought they were going to try and at least find a matching shitty car, like find another Ford Escort that is just one Ford Escort. But no, they just fucking buy a brand new Scion. Bye. The Cube one, to be exact. And I know me talking shit about this, I'm going to get like seven guys in my comments saying, dude, you don't fucking realize that's a sick car. Well, unfortunately, I hate it. You better believe it. A brand new car. Man, we got a new car. Smell it. Brand new style. But really though, just drive this car over to his house. Don't pimp it. Just give him a new car. Because it's one thing when they make a nightclub on wheels out of a car that should be turned into a cube. But to take a perfectly fine, albeit ugly, but perfectly fine car, and then turn that into a nightclub on wheels. God, what a waste. All right, guys. 
This kid, Carrie, is a really deserving kid. I always love the sit-down meetings they do before they do any pimping, where they're just strategically finding the most creative ways to financially break this man, because everything they do to this car ensures that his maintenance will be the most expensive shit in the world. Paint and body department, what do you got for me? All right, Q, since this is a new car, it doesn't really make too much sense to paint it. We're gonna wrap it. I wanna put some flames on it. Now, since this is a new car, it doesn't really make any sense for us to paint it nor do anything else to it, but that's not gonna stop us though. Wheels and tires. Alex, what do you wanna do with the new Scion? I'm gonna go custom three-piece chrome GFG wheel. It's gonna be one of the most expensive sets we used, but it's gonna be worth it. It was really nice of the Pimp My Ride guys to do this for my car. I'm like so appreciative, but I mean, I can't really like afford anything. Like, I popped my tire last week and the only place that can fix those wheels is 45 minutes away and I had to get it towed and I maxed out all my credit cards and I, I fucking hate this car. Going along with that sunroof, we're gonna put a big huge wing on the back of this car, man. Big chicken wing, you know what I'm saying? We're putting a big old chicken wing on the back of this car. Hell yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I don't know why I fucking did that. Kid loves computers, so what we're gonna do is put the brand new DriveSoft system in there. It's an interactive computer, it does everything. Back here, plexiglass floor, 10 inch woofers in there. We're gonna float the amplifier right here. Put neon right behind it. Street glow. Street glow. So far, aside from the outrageous cosmetics on the outside, they're going pretty tame with the electronics inside. Usually they turn this into a Radio Shack on wheels with like 17 different flat screen monitors that are gonna be obsolete in two years. Regular soundproof opens and closes like this. But this rack tap opens and closes like this. <laughs> That's a motor, baby. Okay. I will admit it's a breath of fresh air seeing this show where they don't go so much into like the specifics on every little thing they're doing like they did on Trick My Truck. We made our first rough cut. Now that we got our side piece sheared to size, we're gonna take it over the brake and put some bends in it. If we got our panel bent to size, we're gonna set it up here and drill the holes in it so we can hug it to the side. Granted, Trick My Truck was on CMT. I assume their audience lived for it. We're gonna put the newest technology in your car. We're installing a new supercomputer called DriveSoft. Man, you're not gonna believe what this computer can do. It's a fully operational computer with a DVD player, an audio on demand MP3 player, a GPS, video on demand, email, the internet, and more. I'm gonna assume given the time this came out, that cost $12,000 at least. Carrie, you are one lucky dude to have this computer system in your car. Carrie, you are one lucky dude. Oh, yeah, I just don't really see why I would need all of that. One lucky fucking dude. Do you need me to repeat myself? No, Mr. West Coast Customs, sir. Ismail's installing the headrest monitors in Carry Scion. This is something that probably 70% of our customers have to have. I feel like the editors needed him to get this shot like two months later in his office because they missed something when they were filming originally. It reminds me of those follow-up clips from people on Doomsday Preppers like two months after the episode where they're like, A little time to think about what uh, I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. Now this is what I call multimedia. Why are there screens on the back back seats? Like maybe if they're just hanging out behind the car with the door open, which now that I say that, that's exactly what it is. Editor, cut that out. Okay. All right, Carrie, check this out. When you brought us your cars, you know what I'm saying? You remember it was like a Frankenstein mobile. It was totally off. I want you to check out and put your eyes right here smack dab on your brand new car. Whoa, dude! Holy, this ain't nothing like it, dude! This is a, this is, this is it? Dude, wow, this is insane. If it was mine, this I'd do a dance. You should do a dance, man. Oh my God, I You should do a dance, dog. If we're being honest, I feel like he's shown enough excitement. Like, he's earned it at this point. All right, Give us some, man! Yeah. Yeah. But I love how they're just fucking with him. They're literally making him fucking dance. <laughs> I feel like these transitions are kind of fucking stupid because they did not use the original car. You literally got rid of it. You can't use it in the transitions. I'm assuming they initially tried doing like the normal brand new Scion and then the pimped version, but realized it just looks like a new car with extra steps. And the whole thing about these transitions is to show like the worst pile of junk ever and then something shiny with flames and a chicken wing. Okay! 
back. Okay, Carrie, I know you've already noticed it. We put the biggest wing that we can find on the back of the Scion. Yes, man, that's huge, dude. That is a big wing, man, that's nice. You can only show so much genuine excitement and use so many words to show that excitement, and Carrie is running out of both. You gotta do it big, man, you gotta wing it. <laughs> the glass on my cringe meter is on the verge of cracking every time Exhibit makes a really stupid fucking joke that nobody laughs at for a second and then remembers he's the host of the show and then proceeds to fake laugh. So let me show you a new system. There you go, daddy. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> they hooked me This is a new here. precision power five channel lamp. And guess oh. what? It's floating in mid-air. Oh, sweet. Fucking sick. I can't wait to play Green Day on this. Another thing I want to show you, we install four seven-inch monitors in your head. Oh my god, dude. We got two so the people in the back seat can see. And of course, in Pit My Ride fashion, Exhibit equips the DVD player in the car with a DVD of his music videos and then just welds the disc tray shut. I've got to imagine the DVD player in this car holding Exhibit's music video DVDs is like the black box of a plane. Like, he gets into a car crash, that thing is the only thing surviving. This is drive saw. This is an in-car computer. While it's fun watching Carrie see all this new shiny stuff in his car for the first time, I'd say it's equally as exciting watching Exhibit also see all of this for the first time, because where the fuck has he been? Now you got email, internet, and a mobile office in your car. Oh my God, dude, that is sick! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know what Big Dane said to him off camera, but it fucking worked. All right, man, so there you have it. Your brand new car, you ready to hit the streets, now you're safe, you're rolling right. Thank you all so much. You guys, this is great. I love this new car, but I, I did have like a lot of stuff in my old car, and I, I don't really see any of it around anywhere. Don't worry about all that old stuff, all right? We hooked you up. You've been pimped. No, no, like, I get it, I get it. It's cool I've been pimped, but, like, I had a lot of important stuff in there, like, my taxes, my CD booklet that has every CD I've had since I was a kid. Don't worry about that old thing. We got you a new CD book. It's just dozens and dozens of the same exhibit CD. Consider yourself pimped. Oh, yeah. Check That's it out! This is not the escort! That's a computer, dude! Dude, why are you fucking talking like that? I'm so fucking scared. He's never had anything this nice, ever. This brand new car is just like winning a lottery. Yeah, that's black suede right there, feel that. Mom, what do you think of the car? Oh, well, uh, it, it looks like hip hop. Thank you, MTV, for pimping my new ride. Now Carrie gets to park it outside where everything can get stolen. But you get to be on TV in 2005, which is the biggest of fucking deals ever in 2005. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like, comment, share with your friends. It all helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all my uploads. But with all that being said, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.